Congressman Diane Black. Hey, joining me it's now with more on this is Joni Courtney. She's Senior Vice President of Market Development at Monster. And in Phoenix, Arizona is Larry Wingett, the author of A Grow a Pair. Uh, okay. Hey, guys, I want to pull a stat before we even get started. 40% uh, of 25-year-olds have student debt, uh, and this according to the Federal Reserve of New York. A lot of them saying that this is stopping them from moving on. So, Larry, should we give these students a break? Should, should the taxpayer uh, fork over cash to get them started in college, maybe the first couple of years? Absolutely not. I hate this program on just about every single level, Charles. The big problem for me is that it undermines self-reliance and teaches an already entitled generation that the government's going to take care of them and they don't have to do anything to take care of themselves. You know, and the other problem I have with it is we have tens of thousands of young men and women who joined the armed services in order to get the GI Bill to pay for their college. And now we're going to say, just slap them in the face and say, you don't have to do anything but maintain a 2.0 average? That's ridiculous. You know, Joni, I actually joined the Air Force to go to college, so I know exactly where Larry's coming from. Uh, and I like the idea what Congressman Black said, that there's some community service involved. But uh, getting to the ticker price, the sticker price on this, it's not free, as the president is, is saying it is. Ultimately, is it worthwhile? Well, nothing's ever free, right? You know, and, and I think that the key we have to focus on here is education. Education is the key to success. And we certainly have a skills gap in this country. So I do think it could be a step in the right direction. I'm not saying the way the program um, is going to be funded with, you know, three quarters of it being paid by the government, which ultimately is the taxpayer and then the state. But I do think we need to take a closer look at this program in Tennessee, and as the Congresswoman spoke about it, they're doing a lot of things right. And maybe other states could do something similar. The, the I know other states are looking at it oh, as well. Oh, there's no doubt about yes. it. But what about the point that Larry brought up? A 2.0 doesn't necessarily show a student who was really engaged in the process. And, you know, that, right. So we're going to make a bet. We're going to take taxpayer money, whether it's a state or particularly the federal government, and throw it at someone who wasn't really enthusiastic with the education process, but it's going to get more rigorous and somehow they're going to develop into this great student and fill that skills gap you're talking uh, about. No, I agree with you there. I think absolutely the program should be held to higher standards. I have, you know, in the research it does say that Obama's plan, they were looking at a 2.5 GPA, um, but it, absolutely we should be looking for these students that are going to benefit from a program and benefit from the education that they must have a 2.5 GPA or even a 3.0 GPA or better but really try to look up right. look at holding them to be accountable to getting the education the skills to help them find the, that job Larry uh, last year 165 students from outside this country graduated with engineering degrees from US uh, universities a lot of people saying we've got to find a way to get American kids in there uh, it, it, what would your solution be? What would you say to people that say, we've got a gargantuan skills gap being filled by people not born here. They come here, they learn skills, they make a lot of money. Some of them take those skills back with them. You know, I actually don't have any issue with students coming from anywhere to get an education here as long as they pay for that education. I'm not for giving anyone an education because anything you give to somebody, they don't appreciate it as much. I'm all for education, and I just don't believe that education in college is right for everyone. I do believe that we ought to invest in the, uh, in the skill gap in trade schools and helping people learn some skills that are actually marketable. Giving somebody a two-year degree in Greek studies is not going to do anybody any good, and it won't help our country. Well, uh, all right, guys. Well, we're going to have to leave it there. I'm going to actually pick up on this on my show tonight as well because there's a whole lot of honest problems with community college anyway as it stands. A lot of these kids never graduate. It will be money, I think, wasted. But great points, Joni Courtney, and, of course, Larry Wingett. We appreciate it from you both. Hey,